Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Welcome to EA Sports. International showdown here tonight. Does the environment change when you're playing nationally as opposed to a club? 100% it does because it's a little bit different. You're not usually with regular teammates, so everything feels a little bit different, but you are playing for your country. A sight every hockey fan can appreciate. It's a clean sheet of ice, and we are about to get underway. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Tries to get it to Voracek. Great heads up play in the defensive oh, zone. Oh, man. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Moves it quickly over to Ronick. Czech Republic's got the puck along the wall. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Team Slovakia's got it along the wall. Lays. He scores! Well, I don't think anybody's really settled into the game yet. And already we have the game's first goal. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Slovakia's first goal has completely silenced this home crowd. Everybody's expecting a quick start from the home team when it doesn't happen. Everyone, fans and players, are back on their heels a bit. Passes the puck over to Pasternak. Pasternak swooping in on the attack. Sends it across. Makes the save. Great reflexes. Another save. Nice pass. Return pass. Traps that puck tight into his chest. The first 20 minutes of this one is all said and done with as the horn sounds. 1-0 is the score as both teams make their way to the respective rooms. If you are the holder of the winning ticket, please take it to our customer Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Concourse before the end of tonight's game to claim your prize. And thank you for supporting minor league hockey. Well, that probably would work a little better if the stick stayed in one piece. No luck in that stick. Team Czech Republic's got possession at center. Referee singling delayed penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Scrum ensues along the boards. And the puck's knocked loose. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. And here comes the judgment from the official. Tatar's going off for hooking. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. Czech Republic's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Hurdles won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And he scores! Jumps on the rebound! through to the net he picks up this rebound makes no mistake once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net the goalie's at your mercy and he does not miss nearing the midway mark of the period we are all tied up in this one this neutral zone faceoff set to go and we are back underway Team Slovakia's got a hold of it along the wall. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Gets in front of it. Sends the pass over. Good use of the body to knock him off the puck. Slovakia's got a hold of it against the wall. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yeah. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. Carries it across the line. To his teammate, out front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Way too much congestion blocks that. 
second period is in the book. Still too close to call. We are tied at one. Hey, hockey fans. Follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. Or listen to the online simulcast at home or on your smartphone. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Team Slovakia's penalty killers have their work cut out for them here. But a nice start to the period as they win the draw. Lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Gunas uses his skating skill to get into position to throw this huge hit. More than half the frame has been played here. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck scooped up by Ronick. Puts it on net, and there's the save. There's the goal, -ahead goal and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. Uh, sometimes you just got to put your hands up and say, I can't do any more than that. He did all he could to try and stop that puck. Czech Republic's found themselves a critical goal here late in the third period. Now a question is, hanging on, can they do it? I think they can, but it has to be by being aggressive. You're now into the last half of the period. The clock goes pretty fast if you're aggressive. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net. The face-off becomes critical. Czech Republic's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Hurdles won a big draw on their own end. Moves the puck behind the net. And now he moves it quickly to Palat. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Dano's got it to the side. Moves it around along the half wall. Move to the middle. Moves it quickly over to Verona. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And he scores, which should end it. That should wrap it up. Pretty comfortable now with that empty netter. Now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. Team Czech Republic's added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with a... Easy one into the empty net. Czech Republic's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Shot on net with the stop. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. If you can control the puck, you control the pace of the game. And I thought that had a lot to do, James, with the way this turned out. They seemed to have the puck a lot. Did it also seem like the ice was maybe tilted in this one tonight? Well, if it is, then the engineer's got to fix it no. because you can't have an uneven ice. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.